Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create a recurring invoice, open the invoice window by clicking the plus new button in the navigation bar and then clicking the invoice link. If using the old layout for invoices, then click the make recurring button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window to open the recurring invoice window. Alternatively, if using the new layout for invoices, click the Manage button in the toolbar above the invoice to show a pane at the right side of the window if needed. Then click the Automation link in the pane. Then click the Recurring Invoice link in the pane to open this same window. At the time of this writing, recurring invoices in QuickBooks Online use the old layout for invoices regardless of your primary invoice layout. To create the recurring invoice, type a name for the recurring invoice template into the Template Name field. Then use the Type dropdown to select the type of recurring invoice to create. Selecting Scheduled makes a scheduled recurring invoice that is created automatically later. To create the invoice in advance of the date that you then enter into the Interval section, enter the number of days in advance of that date into the Create Blank Days in Advance field. Alternatively, to be reminded to create the recurring invoice by QuickBooks Online but not automatically create it, select the Reminder choice from the Type dropdown. If selected, you can enter the number of days in advance of the interval date to be reminded into the Remind Blank Days Before the Transaction Date field. Alternatively, to only create the template but not set reminders or automatic creation, select the Unscheduled choice from the Type dropdown. This choice creates the recurring invoice template in the Recurring Transactions list but does not schedule the recurring invoice you must choose when you want to use it. Next, select a customer from the customer dropdown or type a new customer name into this field. The email field shows the selected customer's email address. Check any checkboxes in the Options section that you want to apply. You can check the Automatically Send Emails, Print Later, and or the Include Unbilled Charges checkboxes if needed. If you select either the Scheduled or Reminder Choices from the Type dropdown, then the Interval section appears on screen. This lets you set the recurrence interval for the recurring invoice. The first dropdown, directly under Interval, lets you choose daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Depending on that selection, then set either the day of the week, day of the month, or the month and date for the recurring invoice. Then set the start date for the recurrence in the Start Date section. Then use the End dropdown to set when to end the recurrence. You can choose to end it after or by a certain date by selecting a choice and then entering a date or number of occurrences. You can also select the None choice to leave the recurrence pattern open-ended. In the next few sections, enter any normal invoice information you want the recurring invoice to contain. Information you enter here automatically appears within this invoice when it is created in the future. If creating an unscheduled invoice, you can often leave some fields blank and then enter them or change them after selecting this invoice template in the future. The toolbar at the bottom of the window contains a Cancel and Save Template button. You'll also see buttons for Clear or Revert and Customize. Clicking Cancel cancels the recurring invoice creation. Clicking Clear clears the form but doesn't close it. If you are modifying an existing recurring invoice template, the Revert button appears here instead. 
clicking revert cancels changes and reverts the template to its prior version. Clicking Customize lets you select a different invoice style to use, edit the current style, or create a new invoice style by selecting a command in the pop-up menu that appears. Clicking the Save Template button saves the recurring invoice template in QuickBooks Online. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.